All right, this is the last training video, and in this one we're going to add the JavaScript to kind of show and hide these answers whenever we click a response in the questions, one of the three responses. So if you didn't watch the last video, we ended on hiding answer one, answer two, answer three by clicking the little eye to show that it's hidden. Now, in our questions, in our HTML, Whenever you look at the question, at the very top, you'll see that there is actually a function. There's actually two functions, one on load and then one called answer click. And the one answer clicked, it gets fired. So you fire that event whenever you click on one of the answer options. So you see how it says answer, click, and then open close parentheses. That means when you click that, go to this uh, place in the document and click that link. And then also, click this link. I'll show you where those are in just a second. On function, when you load the, the panel, every time the panel gets loaded, you're going to hide all of the answers. So if there's one showing, it's going to hide. So where it says replace, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the replace now so you can just see. It says hide answer one. Hide answer two. And you'll have to do this in each of the scripts. Hide answer three. And then when you click the answer click, you want to take one, you don't want to hide it, you want to show it. So the first thing you're going to do when you click the answer is you're going to show answer one. And then you're going to actually fly to or go to answer one. So it's going to do those things. So when it loads, it's going to hide each of the answers, no matter where you are. Uh, if you go to question two, it's going to hide que answer one, two, three. If you go to question three, it's going to hide answer one, two, three. And then it's going, in this case, since we're in question one, we need to show, whenever we click the button, show answer one, and then go to it. Now you're asking, hopefully you're asking, like, what is it clicking? So you, what it's clicking is down here in this hidden div. So actually next to my icon, there's another block element there where the display is set to none, to not show. But there is an anchor link in here, and the anchor link is not going to the internet. The anchor link is just going to another part of the Google Earth project. So all we need to do is find these IDs. Right? So I have an answer one, answer two, answer three show, and look, it's A1, which means click. A1, which is going to click this ID to show it. And there's also a hide for each one. And then there's a, a balloon fly 2, which is the go part, A1 go. This will make a lot more sense whenever I put those uh, IDs in. Cool. So the IDs are found, they're kind of hidden, but nah, it's easy enough. If you go to the three toggle that we've made our file, this is why you have to make the file first and you export as a KML. It's going to ask me where to export it. I'm going to go ahead and export it right here. So I've downloaded the file. It's right here where it says training quiz KML. Now VS Code doesn't really know, I don't think what a KML is. It's going to ask me, like, do I want to find an extension for it? No, don't worry about it. Because all we need is those IDs to click the link. So I'm going to scroll down and see that this is all just document stuff, document stuff, document stuff, all that stuff that we put in there. And if we get towards the bottom of this KML file, you'll see that there is this place mark that has an ID on it. I guess I still got to scroll a lot. Still scrolling. Thing is, oh, I'll just go all the way to the bottom. There we go. So the very bottom is actually old KML. And this is the place mark right here. So do you see place mark to place mark? There's an ID there. Now we're looking for all the answers. So here's the answer one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this ID, this unique ID, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to question one. And I'm going to paste right there where it's show, and then answer one, 
uh, fly to. And I'm, make sure that you put the hashtag in front of it. Perfect. Now we'll just go to go do the same thing, but we'll do it for answer two and then answer three. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Control copy. We gotta do it for the hide as well. Answer one hide. So whenever that link is clicked, it's gonna hide answer one. Whenever this one is clicked, it's going to show it. So there's place mark one, there's question two. Here's answer two right there. And there is its unique ID. So I'm going to copy that and then go to question answer two here. And then replace that. So you'll have that number and then a semicolon show. And then replace that hide. And then replace that fly to. It's the go. So we're going to show and then we're going to fly to it. Then lastly, we'll go to the third one. So I'm just using this to help me figure out where the place marks are. There we go, answer three, and here is its unique ID. So I'm going to copy it. And then do the same thing for replace ID answer three. Replace ID answer three hide. And then replace ID answer three balloon fly. So if you have more questions, all you have to do is do an A4 for show, an A4 for hide, and an A4 for go. So you just keep adding on to them one by one. Make sense? So it's going to click this A1 show, and then it's going to go to it once it can see it. When you go to a question, every time you unload, it's going to hide all of the answers. So if you want to just take all of this now, because this will not change no matter what there's only going to be one more change that we make on each panel so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to go to question two and just go to that same area and i'm going to paste it and then i'm going to go to question three same area because it's the same anchor links right cool and then i'm going to just save it throughout all right, so question one is ready to go. The only thing that changes for the rest of it is, you know, on question one, we want to go to answer one and then go to answer one. On question two, instead of going to uh, answer one, we need to replace these. I purposely left them as that replace in case you wanted to label it something besides A1, A2, A3. I just normally do the same naming convention no matter what. Cool. So this will be, instead of going to show answer one, you're going to show answer two, and then go to answer two, and then save that. And then lastly, come up to the very top, and then you're going to show answer three, you're going to go to answer three, and we're still going to hide one, two, or three, no matter what. One, two, three. Just the tick. All right, so then I'm going to hit control save. I think I had everything saved. So it's pretty easy from now on. You just have to replace your code for your custom HTML box. So I'm going to copy question one. Go to Google Earth, go to question one, paste. And then I'm going to go to question two, control all copy, edit question two, paste. And then lastly, I'm going to go to question three. Control A, Control C, edit question three, paste. I think we're set. I think we're done. So go ahead and present it. 
So you'll notice if I go to the next one, I'm actually just going to question two. I'm not going to answer two because answer one is already hidden. However, if I go back to the question, so question one, which is the largest city in the world by population. Now when I click on it, it's going to do a click event and it's going to show and it's going to fly me to it. See the table of contents went back to went to four now because now you have question, answer, question, question because we have that answer shown. If I go back, well, I'll go forward first it's like a quiz. When I go forward, even though it says three of four, there's only going to be three here because I went ahead and hid that question again. Or excuse me, I hit that answer one again. So it shows it first and then it flies to it. It can't fly to it without it knowing it's there. And I'll see what happens when I go backwards. It's going to go back to the question instead of the answer that you just advanced from because again, it's hidden every time that we go to a new question. And you have to kind of start all over again. There's that one. And then flies me to my question. And I'm just gonna hit the wrong answer just for fun. And I'll give you the right answer, fly to it. And now you have your quiz completely done from setting up your environment all the way to creating custom HTML using some styling and then also using a little bit of JavaScript. Really there's two things that you did. You did an onload, you hit every all the answers and then you did a click on click kind of event where it shows the answer and then you fly to that answer. So that's the end of these tutorials. Uh, I hope you had fun learning. I hope you were successful one. And if you weren't, I hope you learned any, something anyways. Uh, I know I learned a lot by creating this, these uh, tutorial training videos. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, feel free to reach out. I'm at GETeach on Twitter. And uh, I guess through the YouTube comments as well. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed it.